Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back. Welcome to the advanced portion of class 62 and getting things started with a little review with the verb to wish. I wish. I wish we could finish with this verb. We've been talking about this verb for a few days now. I wish. Ojalá. I wish we could finish. But here we're reviewing with the verb to wish in the sense of, well, with the structure. I wish he wouldn't do that. I wish he wouldn't do that. It's really bothering me. I wish he wouldn't. I wish he would. I, I, w I wish he would try harder. I wish he would study more. I wish she would hurry up. Ojalá ella se diera prisa. I wish she would hurry up. I wish. I wish she would shut up. I wish she would be quiet. Yes, I wish he would shut up. He's speaking too much. I wish he would be quiet. I wish he would stop speaking so much. I wish my neighbors would stop making so much noise. Now, it's very important with this structure, well, the would, would. And we have a little bit of pronunciation there that is often difficult. Yes. Pronunciation. What? Yes, I want to focus on the pronunciation there. The pronunciation of this word would, which is just the same as would as in madera in terms of pronunciation. Would, would, would. And now what I recommend is that you consider the Spanish word for egg. How do you say egg in Spanish? Huevo, huevo. So you have that sound, w, 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 wood, wood, wood. Yes, we have that sound, and it's the same sound. I would if I could. Or wood as in madera, wood. The pronunciation is the same, wood. So here, she's driving too fast. I wish she wouldn't drive so fast. I wish she wouldn't drive so fast. Now, he's eating too much. I wish. So give me at home, give me the sentence with I wish. I wish he wouldn't eat so much. I wish he wouldn't eat so much. Mm. She's burning the toast. Yes, she's burning the toast. I wish she wouldn't burn the toast. I wish. I wish she wouldn't burn the toast. He's ruining the machine. He is ruining to ruin. He is ruining the machine. I wish he wouldn't ruin the machine. Oh, I wish he wouldn't ruin the machine. He's not helping me. I wish he would help me. I wish he would help me. I need his help. I wish he would help me. She's yelling. Está gritando. She's yelling. I wish she wouldn't yell. I wish she wouldn't yell. They're not trying very hard. I wish... They would try harder. I wish they would try harder. He's making a lot of noise. I wish he would be quiet. Or I wish he wouldn't make so much noise. I wish he wouldn't make so much noise. She's slow. I wish she would Hurry up. I wish she would go faster. I wish she would hurry up. Hurry up. Ojalá ella se diera prisa. This is the example I gave you at the start. I wish she would hurry up. Mm -hmm. 
He's not solving the problem. Well, I wish he would, would solve the problem. Now, make sure you're pronouncing that properly. Would, would, would. I wish he would solve the problem. He's not working very hard. I wish he would work harder. Okay. Very good. Now, in the last class, we also started to look, well, we looked at translation list number nine. Yes, we did. We looked at translation list number nine. So, what a practice with this list now. Okay. Translation. Yes, that's right. It is time for the translation list. Translation list number one. Translation list number nine. Translation number one, I should say. La formación es una preocupación continua en esa compañía. Training is an ongoing concern in this company. Training is an ongoing concern in this company. It is. It's important. It's essential. And it is an ongoing concern, una preocupación continua, in this company. Number two, hay bastantes pedidos nuevos. There are quite a few new orders. There are quite a few new orders. Hay bastantes pedidos nuevos. There are quite a few new orders. Number three, adivina quién va a con... Disculpa. Adivina quién va a convocar la reunión. Adivina, yes. Guess, guess. Guess who's going to call the meeting. Guess who's going to call the meeting. Number four, tengo intención de demandarles. I intend to sue them. I intend to sue them. And number five, guárdalo por si acaso. Keep it just in case. Por si acaso, just in case. Keep it just in case. Very good. Number six, nunca sabes cuándo te puede hacer falta. You never know when you may need it. You never know when you may need it. And number seven, si bajas el precio, ganarás cuota de mercado. If you lower the price, you'll gain market share. If you lower the price, you'll gain market share. Quota de mercado. Market share. Number eight. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esto? How do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce this? Number nine. No te voy a cobrar la mano de obra. I'm not going to charge you for labor. 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 This is a word that can be spelled two different ways. The British spell this word L-A-B-O-U-R. And the American spelling is L-A-B-O-R. It's the same with the word color. In Britain, the word color is spelled C-O-L-O-U-R. And in in the United States, C-O-L-O-R. Number 10. Esto implicará a más gente de lo que crees. This will involve more people than you think. This will involve more people than you think. 
Yes. Number 11. Tropecé con él en un kiosco. I ran into him at a newsstand. I ran into him at a newsstand. And number 12. Si pulsas ese botón, bajaremos. If you push that button, we'll go down. Bajaremos. We'll go down. All right. Very good. How did you do? Did you get all 12 right? I hope so. This was a review, right? Yesterday we practiced these. So you should know these. Okay? Expression of the day. All right. Yes, it is time for our expression of the day. The expression of the day today is the lion's share. The lion's share. So the share, which is a portion my share. I want my share of the pie. I want my share of the money. My portion. Okay? Share. Now, the lion's share. Del leon. The lion's share. And now, the lion's share means the largest portion. Yes. The largest portion. Mm -hmm. So, when you buy gasoline, for example, the lion's share, at least in North America, where gasoline is, is more expensive, uh, excuse me, excuse me, uh, gasoline is more expensive in Europe, but, uh, so I'm, I, I assume it's the same, but the lion's share of what you pay when you buy gasoline, the lion's share is taxes, one form of tax or another. So some form of taxes makes up, constitutes, makes up. The lion's share of what you pay. The lion's share. The greatest portion. The majority. The majority, right? La mayoría. The lion's share. Mm -hmm. Because the lion gets the biggest piece. Because he's the toughest animal, right? The lion demands a lot, so he gets the, t the biggest piece. The majority. That's true. I'm not pulling your leg. That's the, that's the truth. I, I'm, I'm not lying to you. I'm not pulling your leg. Tomando el pelo. Pulling your leg. And this is the next point. This is right here in the, in the student guide. I'm not pulling your leg. I'm not kidding. Como? Right? I'm not kidding. K-I-D-D-I-N-G. Kidding. To kid. K I D. Like un niño, a kid, a boy, a kid. But to kid is essentially to tomar el pelo. To be kidding, to be pulling one's leg. I'm not pulling your leg. Are you pulling my leg? Are you pulling my leg? On the 1st of April, we have April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day when we play jokes on people. And uh, and then you can tell a joke, and then you say, oh, sorry. You, you can trick someone, right? And then you say, oh, no, no, no. I was just pulling your leg. Tomando el pelo. Pulling someone's leg. And then we have also, I'm having you on, which is more British, but I'm having you on. Te estoy tomando el pelo. No te preocupes. Don't worry. I'm just having you on. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding kidding. All right. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it's time for our vocabulary of the day. The first word of vocabulary today is acometer, resolver, which is to tackle, to tackle a problem. The government has to tackle economic issues. They have to face them and try to deal with them. It's almost like afrontar, to, to, to face a problem and then to deal with it, to aggressively try to handle it, okay? To tackle, T-A-C-K-L-E. In football, a player can tackle another player physically right, to take the ball away. Comentario, con crítica. Remark, remark. That was a good remark. Remark. 
reforzar. To reinforce. To reinforce. Yes. The table, the legs of my kitchen table are starting to break. So I, I have to reinforce them. To reinforce. R E I N F O R C E. To reinforce. Barbilla. Chin. 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 I don't have a beard on my chin. I could grow a beard on my chin if I wanted to, but I'm not particularly interested in growing a beard at this time. Maybe I should. Maybe I should grow a beard. Maybe. Danes. Danes. Danish. Danish. A, A. Not, not Danish, but day. A, A, A. Danish. Danish. I don't know very many Danish people. No. In fact, I don't know, I don't know if I know any Danish people. Danish people, yes. Okay. Now we have finally the last point here, to look like. Do I look like, do I look anything like, have you seen me? Do you, do you know what I look like? Do you? Okay, good. Do, do I look anything like your brother? No, Kyle, you don't look anything like your brother. I think I look like my father. Some people say that I look like my father. So we have to look like and not to look like. I look my, like my father. I also look like my mother in a lot of ways, but I don't look like my uncle. But I do look like my mother and I look like my father. I don't look anything like Bruce Springsteen. I don't look anything like Madonna. I don't look anything like Pavarotti. No, I don't look like him. No, I, cer I certainly don't. Do you look like your mother? To look like someone. Do you look like your mother? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you look like George Bush? Maybe you do. Yes, I look like George Bush. Or maybe you don't. To look like someone. Okay. I think I look like my father. I look like my father more than I look like my mother. Okay. We are completely out of time, so I'm going to leave you. But f thank you very much for listening, and we will be back tomorrow at the same time. And we will review today's material as well as move on with more, as always. Tomorrow, same time, same place. See you then. Bye-bye.